Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Woo! <clears throat> that was a voice crack. So, I first off want to do a little bit of something. Tell me, do you notice anything different about Minecraft right now? Is anything, you know, running differently? Is anything looking different? No, I didn't think so. How about if I do this? Still nothing. Alright, now, what if I do this? Oh, that's my face. That's my face. Really close. That's my face even closer. <laughs> if you don't know what I am doing right now, I am using Optifine. Wait, wait. Um, Opti Opti Optifine. Optifine. <laughs> I don't know how to show this best, but um, I'm using Optifine. I can zoom. I can zoom. Zoom. And I can also have the dynamic lights. Those are making light right now. Like, I love Optifine. I think I've mentioned this before. That I do love Optifine. Like, look, that's making light. If I pick it up, the light is gone. It's making light. It's so cool. So, um, my plans for today are to make um, a creeper farm. Make a sugarcane farm. So sugarcane and creeper farm. So I can start gathering all of those resources for my elytra. And the infinite rockets that you use with an elytra. We're going to have like a, a, I have a bunch of space underneath this hill. So if I just come here and just hack out a free, oh, just two. Um, so I have like a big area underneath here. I can connect this cliff up with there. And I can even, I, I probably most likely will do this, but I'll just like dig out a bigger area. And um, we're going to make this place really functional. It's going to be aesthetic and functional. This is going to be my base for a while. Um, oh, those are not the right orientation. There we go. Um, so yeah, functionality. What I want to start off with today is what I've already mentioned. I want to make the creeper farm, and I want to make the sugarcane farm. So that's what we're going to start off with. We're going to clear out some area down there, and we're finally going to make a functionality with this place. And then I also want to make, like, a general mob farm. Like, you, you know, one of the ones that, like, everybody has. Just a, just a general mob farm. That's I also want to make one of those. Actually, I might make this farm that's going to be right here into a quote-by-quote quote, general mob farm. Um, I did quotes in the air. I'm so stupid. No, but, um, yeah, I want to make this, um, um, this farm... I don't know, because if I make it general, then I will be getting bones, I will be getting string, and um, I'll also still be getting um, concrete, or um, gunpowder, gun concrete, gunpowder, I'll still be making gunpowder, so um, that wouldn't affect me. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know, but for the meantime... Let's just hit a little time lapse, or um, a little montage, rather, not a time lapse. I don't do time lapses. I don't really. I don't. I don't want to download replay mod, and I don't want to have to go through the hassle of replay mod. So yeah, we're gonna um, build that, and here we go. I just realized I have made a grave mistake already. <laughs> Oh, this is going to take forever to do. I need to gather a bunch of wool because for a mob farm, you can't have spiders spawning. So you have to use a bunch of wool. But to get a bunch of wool, you need a bunch of sheep to be able to regrow their wool. So I literally have to come in here into this cave and I have to punch out all the stone with wool. Um, luckily they are two blocks wide, so none of them should fall into the hole, but it'll just be annoying to have to maneuver around and like this, where I can't get into the correct spot. Oh, I guess they are two blocks wide. Just like Old Yeller. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit multiple. <laughs> I am running out of so many sheep. Go away, or I will hit you with an axe. And I'm not even joking about that. <sighs> See, this is my problem. Maybe I can just run with one layer of one layer of grass. Maybe I don't need multiple. Oh, come on! This is already so annoying. Oh, what would I ever do without you, Tony? What would I ever do? Hi, Tony. All right, everyone, we are, uh, for the first little bit, I want to see how this construction, or how this build, um, functions. I want to see if it works well, and if I'm gonna actually get anything of profit from this. So, um, um, let me just quickly go over how it works. It looks pretty obvious. Oh, I've completely forgot to do something. Um, I have trapdoors. I need to cover up all these areas with trapdoors. Um, I can do that while I talk to y'all. So, um, how this works is it uses basic mob, um, it uses basic mob, um, it uses their basic, um, um, movements. So, um, this uses the fact that mobs can walk over trapdoors that are flipped down. So they think that these flipped down trapdoors are actually full blocks. So um, they walk over these and then they fall into the path. And um, you might notice that I do have ice. Um, luckily, um, ice. So ice is really useful for making these things because um, there won't be any like blank spots where the zombies won't or where the mobs won't move. So um, there will be. Um, there won't be any blockages, or there won't be anything, um, bad that's happening. <laughs> I forgot I wrote that. <laughs> so yeah, we have ice that, um, if a mob falls way down here, um, yes, I have the soul sand that I need. Okay, um, I think I'm basically done right here. So, for instance, if a zombie drops down here, he goes down this way. Boom, boom, boom. Up this way. Just like that. I kind of had to hold W. Um, but now we have this little contra contraption. That um, I've tested it in a creative world. This thing does efficiently push things um, across the way. So um, this does work for what I'm using it for. Oh jeez, let me come up here, and it's not too complicated. All it is is a repeater 
that goes into a stone block right there and it powers that block and then above it there's a, a redstone dust just right there that um, powers the piston so um I right clicked that I don't know if that I, I, I don't think that I think the right click should make it work better right nope oh I'm an idiot um the, the redstone right clicking it makes it so that it's yeah it travels right clicking the redstone to make it um look like um it's just like you know so like you can take redstone this has been a thing for a while but you can right click it and it becomes like that this is more efficient for sending things up than it is connecting things because it um this it can connect into that block but this can't connect into that block so um yeah that's uh i'm trying to learn redstone i'm trying to learn how to do it efficiently so that um i'm even gonna build like a redstone centric base where it's gonna have like a bunch of sorters so anyways i have tested this mobs come up here you get pushed into this path then they come over here and right now I'm gonna do this. Boom, boom, boom. I've already made sure that these are all um, source blocks. So, anyways, the the monsters come up this way. They get pushed across the ice, and then they go into the waterfall. The waterfall takes them up this way, and I've measured this one out so they fall out this way. And instead of killing them with fall damage. What this farm does is it kills them by campfires. So the mobs fall here. Um, I have two glass somewhere. Um, I think that's mostly done for what I want to do. The mobs fall right here. Um, oh, I need some hoppers. Um, but anyways, yeah, the mobs fall right here. And then they get uh, a attacked by the... Um, they get attacked by the campfire so um we don't actually need that i'm just gonna cover that guy up I cover that up all right um so let me just quickly put all my stone and stuff away uh um, i don't need that i have two stacks of ice um once again there's not um there, it's not too far away there is um it's like um it's not too far away. Um, it's... Which way is north? This way is west. This way is north. So it's south. It's that way. That's where it is. Um, and there's an, uh, an, an iceberg not too far away. So um, that's where we got the ice. Um, and we have now a stack or two stacks of it so we can use that ice so yeah that's what the um mob farm looks like um if you need if you want to build it then you can it's there for a reason so that y'all can build it and yeah we're now gonna get to work on um oh yeah yeah that's why i came here for the first part i'm getting uh like three blocks sure that's fine 27 need to come up here uh oh i have a bunch of chests in there i have six one two three i'm gonna take all of them <laughs> okay so i i know i need four so if we do that and we have four hoppers and the the thing is with this mob farm it's not meant to be um it's not meant to be like um, super efficient. It's meant to be a passive thing because um, I do spend a lot of time obviously in my base. So this um, this design, it works passively without affecting, um, it, it doesn't have an offer on switch. It just works. So um, now we need to connect hoppers up. It's always a little bit of annoyance. Um, why do I feel so frame ready? I'm doing kind of bad with frames right now. I'm only running at 90 about. That's, but I feel like, like I feel frame ready. Is that, that might just be me. I hope that's not part of the recording. Um, cause if you guys felt what I just felt, then 
That would be quite an embarrassment. Even though I have like <laughs> 20 subscribers or 30 or however many I have. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get to work on the um, sugarcane farms. They're not gonna be the um, highly efficient ones, the ones that are uh, zero tick. Is that what they're called? Zero tick, where they like um, push the blocks side to side and it instantly grows them. It's not gonna be like that. It's just gonna be like, you know, once again, passive farms. These are all passive. All the farms that I'm gonna build here, I'm planning to build a potato farm because I can farm potato or I can sell potatoes. Planning to build a mo melon and pumpkin farm, obviously. Um, this place, it's gonna turn into a giant farm. That's what this, th that's what my base is gonna be. Why am I getting 12 chunks? Why does that fog feel so close? Anyways, I'm, um, um, this place is gonna become, uh, a villager trading hall, you could say. Like, that's gonna be filled with villagers. There's a, gonna be a house right there, and I'm actually gonna do something pretty cool. I'm gonna connect the drops from um, these two farms, and I'm gonna put them into a chest inside of this house. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, and then I'm also gonna have um, another house right here, probably like a carpenter's hut, and um, probably about like right there. That's gonna also be a villager hall. So um, yeah, this place is gonna be a big villager hall. But um, back to what I was saying, I'm just going to get to work on um, on a couple of sugarcane farms. They're not actually too hard to make, so yeah. Good stuff, everybody. We are back from another little miniature montage, and we have done a little bit of stuff off camera. <laughs> We've done um, the two big center pieces of our village. We have one crystal, big crystal, like super big. That's like probably 15 or so blocks up. Um, so yeah, we have one big crystal right here blue light blue and um white so that's one crystal we have finished and then over here we have the teeny tiny one um it's red and pink those are the only colors in this one and um yeah if you want to know how to build these because these are pretty cool um all you have to do is you have to dig down um 21 blocks deep and then every other block, so um, as you can see, every other block, you have a layer of glass. So this is 21 blocks deep in every other layer. So you do a blank layer and then glass. So you can um, get this fog effect. And it's actually really good in uh, lots of different situations. Mainly caves are pretty good. You can layer black glass to make black um, black smoke. Um, and then you can just have a little thing sticking out in the middle. In this situation, you can have a little thing sticking out in the middle. Um, that doesn't have to be the layered glass because, um, it, as you can see, it still makes the fog effect from the top. So you don't have to do, um, every other block with the glass up on the surface. As you can see, no matter where I look from, it still looks like fog all the way down. Um, the problem is if I were to, um not do every other layer of glass and if i were to just do 10 layers straight of glass it wouldn't actually get any darker so as you can see there's it looks about like this but if i even if i go up 
it doesn't change its 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 shade. <laughs> I just stuttered. It doesn't change the shade of the uh, the glass. So um, if we then do every other layer, as you can see, it gets darker. And uh, I can't reach the other layers, but um, yeah. So that's why um, you do need to do if you want to make something like that, you do have to do every other layer. But it is worth it, in my opinion. Like you can see, very very pretty fog. And if you wanted to go one step further to make sure that the fog isn't dark, you can take a uh, let's see if I have any. You can take like a bunch of torches or lanterns. The lanterns will work. You take lanterns and then you put the color of glass um, in wool. So if you so say if this is the pit that you want. You take blue wool and put them on top of the torches, and um, it makes it so that the fog isn't dark. Because right now in both of the pits, the fog is um, dark. So during night, perfect timing, it's dark down there. It's not bright. But um, And same with over here, it's dark. Um, if you add torches, then you would be able to see it would actually light up... Um, uh, the bottom layers and it would make the glass m look more like uh, you know like there's like light coming from beneath the fog so it kind of looks like it's just like it looks like sun is shining through the fog and it looks pretty cool especially during night where you can like um, see the light so um, we didn't actually get to making the um, the sugarcane farm <laughs> but um, it is a good sign that our um, our farm right here is very efficient. Well, pretty efficient. Um, I've AFK'd for, eh, like, 13 days, and we've gotten, um, 13 days in the game, not in real life. That would be, uh, this entire chest would be full. Um, but, um, this is what we've got so far. This is definitely more of a passive farm. Um, oh yeah, there's all the stuff that we used. Um... So yeah, um, I'm probably just going to end the episode right now, because I have some plans for the next episode um, that I just want to get started on. Um, it's going to be pretty cool next episode, I, I hope at least. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, take care, have a good day, bye bye.